Hello all, today I will show you how to make this object morphing inside the blender with geometry nodes. Open the geometry node layout. Now we need to add the cube. Subdivide it five times. Duplicate it. And we need to convert it to the sphere. For that, I will use the sphere to sphere modifier. Now we need only scale it a little bit, something like that. Okay, nice. And call it the sphere. Uh, plan it will be our geometry node setup file. Add cube. Add sphere. We have the cube and sphere. Now we need to get the position information for that. We need to use the capture attribute. And position node for the positions on position and when we want to this cube uh, transform to the sphere we need get this position for that we need to use trans uh, attribute transfer Vector nearest and position add mix RGB. It will be mixing the original but, uh, cube pose point location to the sphere location. And to view it, we need at set position set position connect to the position and our morphing is working okay now we'll uh, instance this cube to the bigger cube and the setup we need add for later. Okay, add box for cube node. And we want to make it more procedural size. For that, we need add cloning box. We get the size of the bounding box. For that, we need add vector mat and use subtraction. and separate xyz add map node and multiply and add add will be for our offsetting okay then select size of the box and here we we'll add some controller for the Vertex count add the route Link socket
and we have the procedural cube. Okay, now we need instance this box to this cube instance the point as offset and for the sphere we need to use this as well instance to the points Now I can see we have these instances, but these instances are instances. There are no geometry. We need to get real geometry. For that, we need to use realize instances node, and we have the geometry information. And now we can connect this previously made setup and connect it here. The target. And our it's working. But we want now individually and random scaling and morphing for that we will need to duplicate this node at position at target in the uh, index will be the same because the same mesh and it add index And here's our index. Add noise texture and select it. Add map range. And for this example, I use zero four. And zero six but we have some issue and it's the index fault to fix it it's very easy we will only need add some dividing this number to some uh, number and it's now show you back the mat divide to 2018 and now it's working where I get this number this number I get it from the vertex count on the original geometry and when we are uh, realized mesh our point count is changed from our this cube count and to normalize it we need to use this index dividing by original mesh vertex count Uh, 
to the plane. Okay, okay, okay. Here I will change to vector four and value node and hashtag frame. This will be working as our speed value multiplied by zero two. Maybe lower a little bit. And um, for more control. Now we'll add the vertex color to this mesh. For that, I will use add here and type vertex color detector bit color and connect it to color. And here is our output attribute. For that, we'll call color now we need make material set material and now I will switch to the original layout switch to the shader switch to the render view Add attribute node and our attribute was called call and here type as well color call and it's working Add some subdivision for smooth the result. Everything is procedural. Thank you for watching.